In this video, I'm gonna be talking about uh, two tripods from Benro and their unique characteristics. I'll be first uh, in the studio here, in my modest uh, studio here, shooting some video of the tripods, and then we're gonna go outside and do some more comparisons and see how they feel, okay? So if you're interested in buying a modest video tripod, this might be the video for you. If you're interested in buying something high-end, uh, for photography, this also will be a video that you might be interested in. Again, this is Jesus Manuel Menagarto. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly, greatly appreciate it. Let's first talk about my latest purchase, a very small Benro tripod. It's a video tripod. It does not have fluid cartridges. It doesn't have a Miller head. It doesn't have an O'Connor head. This is a budget tripod. It uh, barely does the job, okay? but it does the job, okay? So, well, let me give you some uh, spe uh, specifics on this tripod. This is the Benro Slim Video Tripod. It is 16.1 uh, inches, so it's barely over 16 inches when it's compressed. And it uh, weighs 3.3 pounds, which is relatively light, and can handle, you know, carry something about 5.5 pounds. So my Lumix that I'm shooting this video with, with the microphone on top or whatever, is under two pounds, so it can handle that readily. Uh, the maximum height, it's not too high. It only goes about 57 inches, and it's made out of aluminum. And again, it has standard legs. It doesn't have those legs that, uh, you know, invert and stuff like that. So this is the Benro Slim Video Tripod. To be very succinct, why did I buy this tripod? Number one reason, it fits in my backpack readily. It's not too fat. It's slim. It fits in my little hoop there in the back of my tripod as I'm traveling around Mexico and the United States, wherever I'm going, and it fits readily. And it's only 3.3 pounds. Typically, I shoot photographs when I'm on the road, but once in a while, I like to shoot video. So this can do both. Its video head is modest. Again, it's not... <laughs> A $5,000 tripod. It's not even a $500 tripod. This is, I bought this on sale for $99.95 at uh, Arlington Camera. And they're, apparently they're getting rid of all their Benro stuff. And so I got a good deal on it. So let me show you something else, something different. This is an upscale tripod. An upscale photography tripod. Again, this one has carbon fiber legs. The other one had aluminum legs. This weighs, let me get my little notes out. Here's my notes. I'm getting old. I need to look at my notes. Again, this is the Benro Travel Angel Series 2 Ball Head Tripod FTA28CV1, okay? It's a very nice tripod. Again, carbon fiber. Let me read some of my notes. Again, why do I have to read notes? Because, again, I'm getting old. <laughs> It's uh, when you know compressed, it's 18.7 uh, inches and it weighs four pounds, just a little bit more than that slim tripod, okay? But it can handle 22 pounds. So if you're carrying a four by five uh, camera, an eight by 10 camera, this can handle it. This can hold, you know, a six by nine Arca Swiss with roll film back, something sweet. I always wanted one of those. I've always shot four by five and five by seven. I always wanted a six by nine Arca Swiss. Call me crazy, okay? Again, it could hold 29 pounds. Wow. I mean, 22 pounds. And at height-wise, it's much more than this one. It's a good, you know, 66.9 inches. And it's made out of carbon fiber and has those folding legs that go like this. You know, they, you know, they invert. Okay. This one, again, has a ball head. The other one has a fluid head. This has a high-end ball head, a very good ball head. The other one has a very modest fluid head. Again, why would you buy one or the other? You would buy the carbon fiber tripod if you're a serious landscape photographer or infrastructure photographer. You need something that's super stable and super light. And you're going to put a photo, you know, a camera on top and you're going to move the ball head around and you're going to keep it pretty simple, okay? You're not going to shoot any video. The other one is for somebody who's traveling. And uh, even though the other one's called Travel Angel, I don't think it's, it's uh, you know, you don't want to lug that around too much. 
but you, you can. It's, it's a bit heavy. You can fit in some luggage, definitely. But the, the small, slim Benros, you know, it doesn't take up too much space. Again, it's not a space hog, and it's very modest. As long as you keep the levers light, the levers, you know, loose, it does a very good job of shooting video. So let's go outside and check out these tripods and see how they work, okay? And again, uh, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. This is Jesus Manuel Managarza. My channel mainly covers uh, photography. I've been a photographer since the mid-60s, and currently I'm doing a lot of travel. I'm retired, and so I do travel videos, I do photography videos, and of course, I do RV videos. I enjoy RVs quite a bit. So let's go outside. Well, I'm in my backyard, boys and girls. <laughs> and I got the Benro uh, Slim out here, the video Slim. And it's a very nice tripod. I really like it. It's not too heavy. It is not too heavy. And it has these uh, beautifully blue anodized uh, legs. And uh, I really like it. I really like it. It's a, it's a simple tripod. If you're looking for something more complex and a little, you know, a better tripod, I would recommend considering a carbon fiber tripod and a better fluid head with cartridges. This does not have cartridges, okay? And so you're going to be spending uh, approximately $250, $500, you know, to start off with, okay? If you really want something super high end, you're going to be spending $1,000, $5,000, $10,000. You get the, get the idea. It's all a matter what kind of project you have. If you're just doing some traveling, this is perfectly fine. It'll do photography and video. All you have to do is lock down the things. So here is the tripod. And you have these blue little, you know, locks here. You just open it like that. And out comes your legs, okay? Let me open the other one. Let me do it again. It's pretty simple. I really like this uh, tripod quite a bit, again. It'll serve my needs when I'm traveling around the United States, going to national parks, doing some camping, stuff like that, to shoot some video. Because the best video tripod that you can own is the one that you actually use. If you don't use it, if it's too heavy, if it's too big, too cumbersome, doesn't fit in your backpack, it's a waste of your time. You better just keep it in your studio. By the way, that's my bells that I have in my backyard. I apologize. So, of course, these have this little feature here that you can move it to different locations. You have three different locations. One, let me just start. One, two, three, okay? And there you go. You lock it into place. Very nice. And that's a pretty good size tripod. But right here, you can adjust the yoke and lock down the center column, okay? Typically, most uh, professional photographers that are shooting landscapes and uh, doing a lot of, uh, you know, working for National Geographic with their shooting video or photography, they don't use this center column. Why, you may ask? It's because it adds a certain amount of top heaviness and instability. So they want it all the way down to the bottom, or they don't even have a column. They just have it connected directly onto here on their 3, 5, 10, $20,000 setups, okay? But we're not going to do that today. We're going to keep it simple, okay? So this is the arm right here. You just adjust it to a position that you like. And uh, right here controls this motion, up and down. So if you're shooting something like this, this will control that motion. And uh, this knob right here will control the pan motion. Again, with a beginner entry-level tripod of this of this type, okay, uh, a simple tripod, not an expensive tripod. I could have spent a lot more, but I don't feel, you know, I don't want to spend that money. I'm going to save it for a stabilizer or something else, you know, gimbal stabilizer. So this tripod right here, uh, you have to keep everything loose so you can move everything around. Once you tighten things down a little bit, it starts getting a little twitchy, okay? Twitchy. That's a technical term, okay? You can write that down. Twitchy. <laughs> it doesn't move as well as it should, okay? This, when you have it too tight, it goes, you know, a little, little staccato, okay? You don't want it too tight. You want to leave everything pretty much a little, almost to the point of off, okay? You want it, instead of from 0 to 10, you don't want it at 10. 
You don't want you want it at six. You want it at two, three, or four. Okay? And there's no numbers on here. I'm just saying. I'm being, you know, I'm making a point, okay? So you want it pretty loose so you can have those smooth movements. So you can just pan around and have a, you know, good time. So I'm gonna loosen this a little bit. And now I can move it around, follow that bird, shoot that family photograph, you know, that video, follow the person at the game. No problem, keep it nice and loose. Nice and loose, okay? Okay, so this is a, Benro Slim aluminum tripod. Let me get to my carbon fiber photography tripod, okay? Now we're going to take a peek at my Benro carbon fiber tripod. It's a very nice tripod indeed. If you're a photographer shooting uh, landscapes, shooting infrastructure, uh, this is a fantastic camera. I, I, I can now not you know, recommend it high enough, okay? What's the benefits of this tripod? First of all, it has carbon fiber in the legs. Again, the legs are carbon fiber. And this portion up here is all cast aluminum, very high quality. Again, typically in this price, uh, for this type of quality of, uh, of a tripod, you're spending anywhere between four, five, six, seven, up to a thousand, maybe even more for a tripod, okay? What's a ball head tripod? Okay. You have this little lever here, and it loosens the pan movement, okay? It moves left to right. Very simple, and it's a rather smooth. If you want to shoot some videos and you want to just do some panning, you can do it with this one. It's only when you're trying to, you know, go like, you know, do some other movements, it, it doesn't work very well, okay? Let me show the other part. Here we have the uh, control of the ball head. This move allows the ball head to Move it in whatever position you want. If you're on in uneven ground, you can just click it this way and uh, you're set, okay? This uses an Arca Swiss plate, while the other one uses a Manfrotto plate. They're totally different. I wish the other one had an Arca Swiss plate too, uh, but it doesn't. It, make, it would make it easier for moving from one tripod to the other. So when I'm traveling, I'll probably predominantly use the, uh, the video tripod as compared to my photography tripod. Very nice tripod, very good construction. A lot of bang for your buck. Ben Rowe is known for, uh, you know, you know, un, you know, selling something of a high quality at a bit lower price. Not a super low price, but a bit lower price, okay? And if you can get them on sale like I went to, again, Arlington Camera, and they were having a sale on their Ben Rowe. They were giving 20% off. I said, okay, I'll take that. And I bought the uh, video tripod. I bought this tripod full or retail from Sammy's Camera in L.A., a very nice uh, and reputable uh, camera dealership in Los Angeles. Been there hundreds of times. Love the place. Okay. So if you have any questions about these two tripods, uh, feel free to contact me. Let me just show some uh, uh, other, uh, photographs of the uh, Arca Swiss plate and also the other plates for your uh, view. Uh, you know, Manfrotto plate versus the Arca Swiss plate. So you can see what the difference is. Okay. Let me uh, place my Nikon D800 atop this uh, Benro carbon fiber ball head tripod. And uh, this again has an Arca Swiss plate. Differentiated from my video, uh, modest video uh, tripod, which has a Manfrotto plate. I hate Manfrotto plates. Do you? So it just attaches right here. They have a simple, just put it like that, lock in here, and you are set. Pretty straightforward. And then, of course, this is the pan motion, and this is the ball head right here. You can go up and down, sideways, right. And if you need to do a, you know, a vertical, you can just put it like that and call it good. So it's a very smooth and very high quality. Again, I love Arca Swiss plates. They're designed for ease of use and also protect your camera. If your camera is a little bit loose, it won't go off because there's a lock on there, okay? It doesn't, even if you have it a little bit loose. If you have it totally loose, it's gonna fall off, okay? So now let's still, uh, go check out my uh, modest Benro uh, video tripod over there with its uh, mm. Manfrotto plate. Shh. Hey boys and girls, we're gonna try the uh, Manfrotto plate and I placed it on my Nikon D800, and I'm going to place it on here. First of all, some precautions. 
This right here should be in the down position. If you have it in the up position, you're never going to gain access to it uh, during uh, shooting. But you can just leave it down there. Once you set this, just set it and forget it. What the hell? Because this thing, it's difficult to access it. So you have a little bubble level here. You have your control for your pan here. And again, simplistic at best, okay? So let's put this camera on here. I'm going to, first of all, move this so I can slide it in there. And it does slide in. Some Manfrotto plates, uh, they, uh, they come at, you can put them in a different way in there. But this one, not. Okay, let me tiny it up. It's going to take a couple little efforts here. Nope, it's not open enough. Now I can do it. Let me see. I have to move this little lever out and tighten it. There it goes. Uh, if you just do it just right, it works pretty good. If you just do it just right, you can. I'm gonna have to get used to this drape, but I just got it. So, so again, this is the uh, this motion up and down, up and down. This is a panning motion. And again, I recommend keeping them nice and loose because it, you know, if you do it too much, if you tighten it too much, the whole head comes off. And you don't want your head coming off. So right now, let me tighten that head back on. And so let me loosen that. And there we go. Some uh, more expensive tripods have a little screw here that sort of tightens the head on there and doesn't let it get loose. But this one's just screwed on. There's no screw tightening the head onto the bait, onto the tripod. This one is just screw it on and if you screw too much the opposite direction it's going to come off be warned okay so this is a nice little pan motion and this is your vertical motion so just keep your hand on here and it, your camera hopefully doesn't plop like that okay so if you want you can control a little bit of that motion a little bit but you don't want it too much because this isn't a high-end tripod this isn't a three four five six seven eight hundred you know million dollar tripod this is just a it's a hundred dollar tripod so just kind of keep it loose and you got to keep your hand on here because this, if you're planning to shoot with this and you hold on the base, you put hold, you put your down here, you hold it down and you move it around like that to shoot your video. And when you're done, you go, okay, tighten it down. I'm done for that shot. Next shot, loosen it, go back. There you go. And again, I've been shooting video since the mid sixties. That's a long time. Huh? And I've been taking photographs for a long time. So. This has been Asus Manuel Menegaris. I hope you like my video. If you have any questions, feel free to contact me about these two brands, of, uh, two, two versions of Benro. Uh, I also have some, uh, you know, Manfrotto tripods, and I have other brands of, you know, tripods. If you want a really nice tripod, and if you have a lot of money, two, three, four thousand, I would recommend a Sackler tripod. They are very, very nice. They have some new models out, which are fantastic. Fantastic. And if you want to even go higher up the food chain, you know, people that are from Hollywood, you would want something with a Miller head, an O'Connor head, and some serious sticks, okay? You're talking $100,000 plus, okay? So this has been Asus Manuel Menegarza. Hope you liked my video talking about my two tripods, my basic, basic uh, video tripod, and my more advanced carbon fiber photography tripod. If you have any questions, again, feel free to contact me. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. Gracias. Adios.